So I got this part and this is what it comes when you unpack the uh, packaging. This is the actual tub. This is the tub cover. This is a bag that you can travel with all the um, components. Those are the rods, that's the tube, that's a thermometer, and that is the pump. So I'm gonna assemble all this and let you see how it looks. So this is the finished product and I'll show you around. This is quite good quality. So I'm thoroughly impressed. As you can see down here, there is a kind of strap to tighten things down. So this thing is really not going anywhere. So when the heavy wind blows, this is not gonna fly away so you can still use the water inside. So you take that, loosen that up, come on off. And the top part right here, the shinier part, that is the thicker material. That is probably double the thickness of this. This feels a little thinner, so this may be prone to durability issues, but the top one is very durable. I can feel it. So installation was pretty easy. All you gotta do is kind of push these rods into the holes right here, it goes all the way up. There is around like six rods all the way through. So this thing is pretty stable now. And same with this thing. This thing has a pretty thick material here. So all you gotta do is put some air into it and this is gonna kind of structure the whole thing into like a circle. Much better compared to my other experience with my other pod where I had to blow this thing by myself because it didn't have a pump. And this is the pump that it provided. This is nothing special, but it is a lot better than not having a pump. You basically extend it and you kind of push it in and that's all you get. You do really fast pumps and get air really fast. And to add very smartly, they designed a two kind of system where you pull the top layer out. That is not gonna let any air escape. You can put the pump into it and you pump air. It's gonna be super easy. But if you wanna actually deflate, you take out the second part. You take out the second part right here and that's when it actually lets all the air out. So this is a very smart design. The last one I tested, all the air was constantly rushing out as I was trying to blow it up. So that was a real hassle. This is a much better experience right here. Down to the actual materials too. This material feels thicker than the other one I've tested. So I'm assuming this is gonna be a lot more durable too. Coming around inside the pool, as you can see, there is one drainage hole right here where you kind of pull off and that's all where the water kind of escapes from the bottom, but you can't always use this because as you would expect, when it is filled up with water, this thing will be heavy. So even if you take this plug out because of the water pushing down all around it, it's not gonna have anywhere to drain because of the weight of the water. So that's why when it's full of water, you have to use this drain, but when it's when the water gets below this point, then you can use this one. And which we come back around to the other side of that drainage, this is the kind of pipe that divided. You know, this is uh, pretty flimsy, you're not gonna get super sturdy, but at least it is an add-on that most people would not include with their purchase. And come around to this, I really like this because it is a turning mechanism instead of a pulling mechanism. Because this way you have complete reassurance that water will not leak if you kind of turn it uh, turn it vertically like this. So when you want water to come out, turn it horizontally and all the water should be coming out. And to kind of show that this structure isn't just like able to completely disintegrate when you kind of move it around, you know, when you top it around, even though this is still like kind of plastic all around, because of the air at top, because of the rods, this thing doesn't really disintegrate versus a lot of the other ones I've tested, even though you set everything up, it'll still crumble if it's not on the exact right angle. So even when I try to push it around, it kind of very easily bounces back to exact position. So that kind of indicates a good like a manufacturing process and good quality. And overall, it is uh, pretty hefty too. It is not heavy per se, but it is uh, heavy enough where you can tell that this is higher quality compared to the other ones I have felt. So yeah, overall, I'm pretty impressed with this. And before I go, to give some quick measurements, this is around 29 inches high and around 32 inches across. And lastly, to kind of go over the review of the bag, this is surprisingly sturdy. This is probably better than the Walmart uh, kind of same material bags that you would get. This feels like it can hold a lot of weight and a lot more than you would expect because of, it does feel pretty light, but the materials feel decently thick and kind of very, very durable actually. So. Overall, this seems like a product that people actually cared about when designing this thing. So yeah, I gotta give it a good recommendation.